Are you ready to thrift with me? Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, we are at the thrift store. This is actually a Goodwill near me. And I don't know if you guys remember that video I did of all of the Halloween bolos that I found in one shopping spree. Well, this is the same store. Um, I don't always find a whole lot here. And today I found a few things, but that Halloween video, if you guys have not seen it, you definitely have got to go watch it. Um, I sold some string lights for $125. So go check out that video to see those lights. It was an amazing haul. All right, so we're just gonna kind of go through the Christmas items here. If you guys are new to the channel, I love selling Christmas especially vintage Christmas made in Japan items. Love, love, love it. Now they are not super easy to find, but I do my best. So I always look at the Christmas. I do pick up plush. I did not pick up this one. I am being more selective in this video. I know that I left a lot of money um, on the table, I guess we could say. So as you're watching this video, let me know if you see anything that you would have picked up. Like, would you have picked up this cute little purse? I don't think it was a name brand or anything, but it did have like a Christmas theme on it, which was kind of cute. There is one item that I pass on that I think I should have gotten. Now I did pick up this little bag of House of Hatton ornaments. I have done really well with House of Hatton in the past. These were damaged. There was one that was in good shape that you saw the comps for. The ones with the lower comps were damaged. House of Hatton will either say House of Hatton or it will be H&H &H like I just showed you. Here are a few that I sold recently that I picked up from an estate sale. These sold so fast. I think I'm sold out of all the ones from the estate sale, but they were in excellent condition. The ones I picked up during this haul, not so great. The ones okay, but so far um, they have not sold yet. So I expect them to sell maybe as it gets closer to next Christmas. So a little ways to wait on those, but I think worth the wait at the price I paid. So again, just looking through the different Christmas items, always check the bottoms if you think something looks different. Um, you can usually tell by uh, the branding on the bottom if it's something to pick up or not. And it also gives you the opportunity to look up whatever the brand is. These are like placemats. They may have been just homemade. Not really sure. I left those behind. I almost picked these up. I believe they were 99 cents each, but they were new old stock. And I did look up comps. They were a bread and butter item. In hindsight, I should have picked them up. They would have been really easy to list, but I left those behind. I was really examining those. Do you guys ever do that? Like, oh, I should have got it. Ornaments are another thing that I pick up a lot. Hallmark ornaments, they range from bread and butter to big money. Some Hallmark ornaments can go for over $100. Uh, they, not as many as bread and butter, but it's definitely worth looking them up. We are coming up on an item that I think I should have gotten. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Um, I always, always, always pick up nativity sets and for some reason i didn't pick this one up uh it did say made in china and it's getting ready to show right now here it is it said made in china but it was just beautiful but i don't think it was vintage i tried google lens i could not find any comps you could see here this was pulling away from the base but i could have fixed that really easy with some like a hot glue gun or something but it was so cool, like buyer's remorse, or no, not buyer's remorse, yeah. Like buyer's remorse is when you buy something and you wish you wouldn't have bought it. So what would it be if you didn't buy something and you wish you would have bought it? Probably not buyer's remorse. Let me know what you guys would call that in the comments. 
So that one I think was vintage. Maybe I should have picked that up. I'm not really sure what the markings were on it. I should have lifted the sticker and kind of tried to figure that out, but I didn't. What was that wrapping paper on the bottom? I hope that wasn't vintage. Uh, if you guys saw the video, uh, it was Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She found vintage wrapping paper at an estate hidden in like a closet under the steps. And it was from like a department store. And I will tell you that it was a huge money bolo. That old, old wrapping paper kind of had like a shiny look to it. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but she showcased it in um, the video she did a thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. So if you want to learn more about that wrapping paper, definitely check that out and definitely check out her channel as well. So a lot of ornaments over here. Most of these were just newer, so I left those behind. I do pick up those from time to time. They don't sell very good though, the Boyd's Bear pins, but I sometimes find them in lots of jewelry that I pick up. And I'll just go ahead and list them. All right, so this blanket. I'm not sure if this is chenille or not. So shout out to Yard Sales and Dreams. She did a video on those blankets. And she's probably like, you should have picked it up. But I don't know. I will pop up the video for that and let you guys see. And definitely go check out that video because it is super educational. And there are some really, really beautiful blankets that go for big money. That one I don't think would have been big money, um, but there are some that are. So check that out, Yard Sales and Dreams. Chenille, I think is how you pronounce it. All right, this little Santa. Sometimes I pick these up. This one looked newer, so I went ahead and left that behind. Uh, Rachel Strickland picked up some Santas that I saw on her video and I was like, oh my goodness. So another great reseller YouTube channel to follow, Rachel Strickland. Boyd's Bears, yes, Boyd's Bears. Guys, you got to see this video if you haven't seen it. There's certain ones that are trending and I checked the other day and they are still trending, but it's only certain ones, but they can go for upwards to $100, $150 if you find the right ones. This is an animated product and I like picking those up so that I can put them on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. That one, however, the comps were really low. Should I have got that? I did pick it up, I looked, there was no markings on the bottom so I left it behind. This big bowl right here, <sighs> I didn't pick it up and show you guys, but I did go back and I picked it up and looked at it. And this is what it said on the bottom. I don't know how to say this, false scroff or something, but um, maybe I should have got that. You guys let me know in the comments. Now they do have a plush section and I'm gonna head over there here shortly, but there was some plush mixed into the Christmas stuff. So you're seeing me pick that up and check tags. I do check tags for plush. Some plush can be big money. So uh, if you have not seen my plush videos, oh my goodness, you gotta go check them out because I feature, um, I do category videos on plush. So definitely check those out. Big money in plush. A lot of bread and butter, but some big money also. If you're interested in learning about plush, um, some great channels are The Rebel Reseller and Zombie Bargain Hunter. Here's another one, I picked it up and I'm glad I passed on that one. I think they had that priced at like $8 and I just pulled up some comps there for you. Not selling high, that one was only going for like 10 or $11. But those old stockings, uh, the crafting, uh, what are they called, cross stitch kits can be big money, especially if you find the gold collection by Dimensions. But stockings in general, if you see those cross stitch kits, definitely look them up. Looking up here at these angels and some of the different little trinket, Christmas trinkets and figurines. Lots of Christmas still here. 
And I think that might have been a Longenberger. I didn't look that up. I pick up Longenberger pottery. I usually pass on the baskets unless they're themed. Uh, like I did sell a Halloween basket once that did pretty well and sold pretty quickly. Uh, the that You know it was Halloween because it had a liner, the actual basket. I It might have had black and orange on it as an accent. If I It might have now that I think about it. I don't know what that was. It did have a little uh, sticker on it. Maybe I should have looked it up. Again, if you guys see anything that I missed, let me know in the comments. That helps me learn, and it also helps the viewers learn. Lots of little Christmas plush there, but most of those were just cheap. I'm thinking maybe I should have picked up these uh, magnets. Sometimes the vintage magnets can do pretty well. Um, you can lock them up, if nothing else. So I'm checking them out here, and I left them behind. Again, a lot of stuff I left behind just because I have so much inventory. Those are like little, little miniature ornaments, like little kids, people. I don't know what they were. They were different. Trivia quiz game. Okay. So Silent Night Scentsy. This is a Scentsy warmer. I think this was one of the plugins. And I'm going to pop up a comp here. Maybe I should have got this. It was priced. I can't remember what it was priced at. I feel like it was priced higher than I wanted to pay. It's really, really cute. There are some solds. They really range $10 to $17 depending on who was selling it and how they priced it. Here's another one. This one was missing the warmer part that holds the scent. So I left that one behind. I don't, I, I don't know if those are the same collection or not. There is an item that I do pick up over here. And for some reason I didn't show putting it in the cart. I show it in the video and I'll show you the comps. Maybe I should have got these little, uh, string lights. I do pretty well with those. Here is the one I was telling you about earlier in the video. I picked up those Halloween string lights at this Goodwill and I sold them for $125. These I decided to keep for myself. I have three ceramic trees and when I find one that's different and really pretty, sometimes I keep them, but they're missing those little lights. So I'm going to hang on to those for now. This is a little bag of ornaments and there were some really cute owls in there and I almost picked this up, but decided to leave it behind, but super, super cute, you know, kind of thinking, should I have got it? Uh, another little bag of just miscellaneous Christmas items. I think that's like a miniature bottle brush tree. Some of those bottle brush trees can definitely be a bolo. They were in a recent video that I did. That one was really tiny. I don't know. Do you guys think I should have got it? Let me know in the comments. Okay, right there. You see the little stars and moon? I did end up buying that um, to sell. It was only 99 cents. And I've got that listed kind of high. I have not sold it yet, but feel like it could do well. It is a collectible brand and I could not find any comparables. So to me, if I can't find any comps, I usually price high. He's really, really cute. It's like a little Santa, but he's got the unique colors. All right, here's the plush bin, which sometimes this thing is loaded, but today it was not loaded. Uh, there's, I think that's, is it Sophia the First, those purple dolls with the purple dress? It's funny because there were two of them, same doll, and I left them behind. I don't think they were Disney Store. I usually pick up Disney Store. Disney Store does vary. This little light up thing, I did look that up as I showed you comps, but they were too low. I just left that behind. Cute little turtle. Probably would have been a great bread and butter. Lots of bread and butter in here. Um, I know the Rebel reseller sells a lot of plush that are $10 or less. And I think she said she paid her mortgage with items that were $10 or less, her bread and butter stuff. She picks up all kinds of plush. Definitely check out her channel. I did pick up this little Hermie, um, I think, oh, what's it called? Max Lacuto, I think is the storyteller for this or the producer. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a Christian-based um, Christian DVD series. 
and I've never seen the backpack. So I did go ahead and pick that up. The condition is okay. It's got some scuffs and marks, but I did go ahead and list that because I just thought it was really, really cute and a harder to find item that probably was not mass produced. All right, I picked up a bunch of Star Wars items. I did part out the stuff in this bag. Right there's one listing. Here's another one. I am not a Star Wars expert. A lot of them I just lauded because I didn't really know how to price stuff. And I love toys, but Star Wars, I just can't get into it, but I could not pass that price up. This one right here, I've already sold something and probably made my money back for the entire thrift haul. Uh, this was a mixed lot of game pieces. I forget what the game is called, but I sold that on Poshmark for $60. And these are little Monopoly things and some more of the game pieces. All of these items came out of that bag. So that was definitely a great find. This is an LOL case. It was empty. Uh, some of those LOL dolls do okay. So I think that is all of the bagged stuff I got. We're going to finish going through the toys here. And then I have a mystery box from another thrift store that I am going to open up at the end of this video. I will warn you, it's not the best mystery box I've ever opened, but it's always fun to uh, see what I get. I thought about not including it in the video, but I was like, you know what? Some people love unboxing, so I'm just going to put it at the end of this video and you guys, if you want to watch it, you can. And if you don't, you don't have to. There's definitely some stuff I'm going to list from it. I just haven't listed anything yet. So I won't be popping up any comps. I'm still going through uh, the toys here. A lot of times you can pick up games like this that are vintage. And if they're missing some of the pieces, you can part them out. Here are some comps for just the little monkeys. Not great, but, you know, some people will buy these and then they keep buying them and they just change the quantity. All right, would you have picked up this little bookend? I thought it was really, really cute. I kind of am looking back thinking I should have bought it. This was priced kind of high. I'm gonna pop up a comp here of what they're going for. Not a whole lot. By the time you ship that with free shipping, wow, that thing was heavy. I saw some cranium games. You want to look for caribou. That is the one that goes for the best. I have parted these out before. Here are some different examples of items uh, that people have parted out, like the windows, the doors. I decided to pass on that. It does take time to part things out. And again, I have so much inventory. It's just unbelievable. All right, here is the mystery box that I got. I don't recall what I paid for this. I want to say maybe 10 bucks. So I will definitely make my money back. There's um, a basketball. I actually went through this out in the parking lot of the Goodwill and took out what I wanted and then just gave the box to the Goodwill um, of the stuff that I didn't want. And then they can go through it and figure out what they want to keep to sell. A lot of the items are naked baby dolls, and there was a ton of clothes in here. I did pull out all of the clothing, and I threw it in a bag, and I will get to it eventually. This doll right here, I can't remember if her eyes stuck, if she was uh, our generation or Batat. Um, it wasn't an American girl, but... Again, no clothes, so I just donated her. But I did hang on to all of the clothing. I am going to go through it at another time when I have time to like sit down and kind of do some research. I did uh, keep this. Any of the dolls that look like her or Barbies, I will throw them to the side and I will research them. If they're no good individually, like if they don't comp out at $10 or more, I will typically just throw those in a bundle for somebody who's looking for dolls for their their kid to play with that just, you know, make it a good deal. This doll was huge. I ended up um, just donating her as well. But all the dolls were naked. If they would have had clothes on them, I may have considered um, listing them. That one, her hair was a mess. So if the hair is completely a mess, 
I'm not going to take the time to uh, fancy up the hair. That was kind of a big toy. I just donated that. Here, this one I threw into my keep pile. I'll do some research on that. I have no idea what kind of doll it is. If you guys know what any of these dolls are, let me know. That one's, I think, a Monster High or no? Is that a Monster High or a Bratz? I'll have to look it up. But I think she was missing her feet. But that's okay because people will sometimes buy them for a replacement part, like an arm or a head or the clothing that they have on. So that's something that I can lot up and uh, put it with some other stuff. Looking for tags on some of the clothing. I think that's a baby alive. Again, no clothing, so I went ahead and donated that. I probably could have lotted up the baby alives. There's a monster high. This little pink outfit. I don't know if that's Build-A-Bear or what. I can't remember. I don't think it was marked, but it fits like a stuffed animal. It said Adi Dog, like Adidas, only Adi Dog. So I'm going to look that one up. It goes to something. Maybe I can figure it out. More Baby Alives. There was probably four or five of those in here. Would you guys have lauded those up or just donated them? That one was a Disney character. Can't remember which Disney character. Is it Tangled, maybe? What's her name? Rapunzel? I don't know if it was or not. You guys let me know. That has something yuck on it. So, yeah. What do you guys think about this mystery box? It's kind of a mess. Another baby alive. Just packed with baby alives. I did pull that out. A lot of times people are looking for those replacement bottles and replacement parts. So I do hang on to those. Another baby alive. I don't know who this is. Um, I did hang on to her for now. I'm going to look her up. I'll definitely make my money back on this lot. But nothing too great. But a kid would probably have a fun time with all of these toys, right? But as a reseller, I'm just not, I'm not really feeling these baby alives with no clothes. They just don't sell for much. Unless there's maybe a rare or something like that that I don't know about. So let me know in the comments if you saw anything in that box that was fantastic that I missed. 